to try and help with um, focus and that. <laughs> happens when I try and do one of these. Um, so yes, this is. Um, I've put took the a minute. I took the packaging off. The lid sort of pops up a bit like that, um, and it's it is just rammed full of plastic. First of all, there's not much to see on the the side. You've got a little bit there, but um, basically, there's there's not much to see there. Um, and when you take the lid off, you can see just all this. Um, plastic, so much of it. Um, I'm going to take it from the right, show you it, and then we'll deposit it into the left. So, now I've got to try and do this upside down. First of all, there is the um, <clears throat> decal sheet. Very nice looking. Um I don't know who's done this decal sheet. Um, Fighter Town decals. Never heard of them myself, but um, they don't look too bad. Um, they don't look too thick. Uh, yeah, they look okay. So no problems there but well that i can see and then we come on to this i've never had this is i think this is my first kinetic kit so uh we've got a little painting guide at the bottom there can we just bring that down a little bit more there we go um and it gives mr color hobby color and vallejo model color um as always if you haven't got any of those get yourself um an app called paint pad is it paint pad or paint rack i can never remember um download that it's on android it's also on apple i do not believe this sorry hello yeah Well, does it, does it work out cheaper or not to buy the cans? And how much are the cans? And that works out cheaper? All right, we'll do that then. Um, okay, I, I, yeah, I, I mean, I'm live at the moment, so I'm going to have to... All right, bye. Um, this is so frustrating. Right. Uh, where are we? According to Flory, it's a challenge to build. Then again, you build that big Spitfire also. Yeah, thanks, Jan. <laughs> um, chaos, as always, in here. Uh, everybody knew that I was doing this as well. Right, so we move over. We've got uh, the layout of the sprues there, and then we've got uh, our cockpit going together, um, two halves going together, bits and bobs going on. Um, I mean, you 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 know, most of the people in that are watching this will know all this. So, you know, I'm just giving you a brief look at the instructions. You know, you don't need me to tell you what all of this is, I don't think. If you do, leave a comment and, uh, you know, I will make sure. Uh, but, you know, uh, support's going on. I forget what they're called now. And then we've got the missiles going on or bombs and all your armaments and that. Uh, there's the some more stuff going on the cockpit uh going on there uh canopy sorry and then you've got your you know, these these are different different colors by the looks of it different shades um it's an fs number next to them so yeah it's, i don't know whether i like it in black and white prefer to see it in color but there you go that's your instruction manual 
and then we come to the kit itself now I normally take these out of the bag and then put them back in but I'm not going to do that today because I know that I am starting this kit later on hopefully um, as long as a certain somebody gets their photo etch which I will show you in a second because I've got some of that so here we go we've got uh, the first bag that I've come to um, looks like that's the bottom bottom center piece there um, and we've got uh, what looked to be the sort of turbo tubes I guess where the, the housing um, that's what they look like to me um, some nice sturdy uh, landing gear legs there they look very sturdy um, just see hopefully we're not going to have problems we might have interruptions but hopefully we're not going to have trouble with our focusing tonight today sorry um it all looks fairly good i mean look at look at how thick them uh landing gear legs are they look really nice um did that work behind there is that the wrong color and a darker shade so maybe it'll work maybe it won't and then we've got some they look like landing bay landing gear doors there uh, just on this side here could be wrong but that's what they look like to me uh, there we go quite a big kit so um, I'm, uh, don't want to spend too long on the review well, I can't get hold of the blinking Come on, there you go. So, um, on here we seem to have, these look like the leading, um, not leading edge, the flaps and so on. Uh, again, I could be wrong. I, I you know, uh, when I first started this hobby, I knew nothing at all about aircraft. Uh, my knowledge is slowly building up. Um, so I am starting to recognize certain elements. Um, but please forgive me if I do get them wrong. Um, but they definitely look as though. Now, I'm not sure what these are, but these are quite detailed here. Um, nice looking uh, there. And we've got some little arms over. La, 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 where are we over there? Yeah, we go. Tiny little brackets or arms for holding stuff. I'm not sure what. Just here and here. Um, we've got two in the same bag here so they are going to be identical but we will only look at the one so we'll take two out and one will go in there and the other one, these look like they could be uh, an extra fuel tank and maybe a bomb, I don't know. I think one's a fuel tank. Uh, we've got some tyres at the bottom, split rim, um, split tyres. So you're going to have a seam to deal with. They have got a bit of a tread on them, so that may help to hide the... Uh, that may help to hide the... Come on, there you go, you see you've got a bit of a tread on there. Um, there's your rim by the look of it. It's a... Hmm. So we've got that one there. And there's your smaller wheel, which again is split into two. Um, I don't know what this one is on the opposite side. I thought that was going to be the other side of the wheel, but... 
that looks more like a sort of turbo fan or some sort, but I would have said that's a bit too small for that. Um, now we come to the all important fuselage, uh, and this looks beautiful. Uh, if you haven't seen this kilt built up, you really should go and um, find some photos of it because it's stunning when it's built up if it's done nice and uh, this does not disappoint does not disappoint at all so we have lots of detail here lots of um yeah so we've got um so this is the front where the cockpit is and let me just bring that camera up. So I'm going to bring that up. So my black T-shirt is hopefully going to be the. Uh... There we go. We've got nice levels of detail on there. I'm just going to bring one camera in. One. Uh... That in just a tiny bit closer. That light there. That's where your so your turbos are sort of your turbo fans gonna be um I guess somewhere attached around there, around that front section. And then you've got this here. Well, I don't know, is that for the wings, I guess? And then you've got this cut out at the back, um, and a something going on there which looks as though that could be made to look real nice again you've got nice deep nice uh panel lines all the way around camera's not really doing them justice unfortunately now if we flip to the inside there is some detail on the uh inside of the canopy just at the very top there we've got some details going on along here they look very nice um, and obviously you can open up the front nose on this which is what I intend to do uh, no other detail on the inside there uh, we'll flip to the other side it's pretty much identical to this side I believe I don't think there's any there's a slight difference no no, it's identical with the exception of um, this square on this one. The there is not on that one there. That's the only difference on between the two halves. So symmetrically, it's uh, identical. Um, I'm expecting Angela home in a minute and the dog's going to start barking when that happens. So there we go, and you can see some more lovely detail work on there. If it's gonna, uh, where are we? There we are. Come on, there you go. Very nice. They're not deep, they're fairly shallow, so you know, you're gonna have to be conservative with your paintwork, I would think. Yeah, they don't feel very deep, but uh, very nice all the same. Still the packets keep on coming. Um, and here we've got the... Um, here we've got the canopies, the uh, cockpit. Oh, all the cockpit stuff in here. Very, very nice. Lots of detail to look at here, um, as there should be. Um, so here we go. We've got uh, the various sections of the cockpit there. Let me just try and get it in the best angle possible. There we go. Look at that. Very well um, detailed. Almost rivals resin, I think. 
And there we go. Console shop there, I think. Center console by the looks of it, maybe. And then we've got more there. More detail there. And we come across. Just trying to get it at the right angle. Ah, come on. Man, we're just trying to find the. So we have the nose. That looks like the pito tube there. Could be wrong. Down the bottom here. Could be wrong. Um, don't think I saw. They look like they could be the um, control panels, but I didn't see the seat. Um, I did see the nose, which was uh, down here. Uh, where are we? There, there's the nose. But I haven't seen the seat yet. Uh, more still. Nice information detail on there, and then you know your rear stabilizers i'm guessing that's what they are or, or the rudder whatever um and uh that looks like a landing gear of course you can have these uh wings on this open or closed um i haven't decided yet what i'm going for This is a big bag. Quite a bit on here. So we've got two here identical. They're just uh, rockets and bombs. So, you know, usual thing we come to expect. A load more there again, two of them rockets and bombs. A lot of extra weapons. And here's Andrew. Um, apologies for this. I'm going to mute for a second, um, and we'll take a small break while uh, this while the dog stops, and I'll be back in a second. Right, it actually seems that she settled down rather quickly, so uh, we'll carry on. Um, so this is the wing set. I'm not sure if it's upper or lower. I think it's lower. I think it's the lower wing set. Uh, hi, Josh. This is the Kinetic 148th. Um, Kinetic 148 Intruder. Um, and I'm guessing this must be the top then. There's a lot of uh, detail and, and, you know, other information on these. Uh, nice finish to them. Again, it's just getting the light right to see the panel lines they are very they are there 
again, just trying to get some, there we go. There we go. So we've got some riveting detail in there and you can see the fairly shallow panel lines, a bit deeper there. Um, and then the underside, nothing much to show in there. But uh, then you've got this uh, leading edge that extends out. I think it's called the leading edge. They extend out at the front. Where they break, not exactly sure. Already the box is overflowing. Um, and finally, we have um, the canopy, which is the only one that's not in a sealed bag. So the canopy is okay. Um, I'm just going to leave it at okay. Uh, it's not the best I've seen. Yeah, you know, there's some defects in the clear plastic. Uh, writing's a bit skewed and... So it, it, it's not the greatest. It's not the worst. Uh, maybe polish up would help it, but you can see in the shine, it's very, look at that, especially in this one here. You can see through that that grid is all over the place underneath. Um, yeah, they're not, they're not great. So um, I probably won't be having the canopy down uh, because if you've got to look through that, it's um, so it'd probably have the canopy up. Um, so that's the kit. Um, as I promised earlier, I did get a resin kit, and this was uh, this res uh, not resin, sorry. Um, yes, hold on a minute, there should be uh. That's the point. There should have been two resin um, pieces in this, and I don't remember seeing them. So bear with me just while I look through all these packets. That is very odd, because they would de it definitely had... Pop that there. It's not in there. So let me just pop that in. Most unusual. Let's go through very quickly because there should have been. certain I saw two oh no hold on it's all right I'm thinking of the lightning which I'll be doing another review on uh, very shortly not today but uh, so that's um, that's that kit pop that to one side now while we have a look at the photo etch So my good friend bought me the photo etch set for the kinetic um, intruder. This is the exterior set, uh, the A6, A-6E tram exterior um, for the kinetic kit. And uh, that comes with two sheets. Uh, photo etch. And there's some instructions in there on uh, where they go. So um, that is uh, that is that. That's the kinetic uh, intruder. Um, 
Are there any questions uh, on that one before we just, I'll just give you a quick glimpse at the lightning, which I'm going to be reviewing uh, later on. So this is the lightning that we're going to be reviewing. Uh, it's by sword. Um, and this does have some uh, resin with it. Uh, only a little bit, but it's got a bit of resin with it. And this looks a beautiful kit as well. The box art sold me on this. This was bought purely because of that picture. And this, this box art looks amazing. Beautiful jet, really is. There we go. So, um, that was a quick review. Uh, my apologies for the interruptions. Um, can't be helped. It's just something that happens, you know, in life. Uh, no doubt somebody will put a complaint in, um, but, you know, that's the way it is. So, um, just want to thank everyone for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please think about doing so. Um, I do have a Patreon channel, but it doesn't get used very much. Um, I've got, I think I've got a couple of people that are, do subscribe to me on there. Um, and don't forget, we have our podcast, which is on every Sunday evening around. So it's around seven o'clock UK time we start. Um, we talk about all sorts. We discuss everything about modeling we have guests on um so coming up in the future we've got will patterson's going to be coming on again uh but this time he's going to be talking to us all about um how you get your work published uh we're going to ask him questions on that what do i need to do if i want to be published so if you've got any questions along them you know if you've got any questions you want to ask about being published then please send them to me or put them on the Sprucast facebook page and i will put them all together and they will be put to will on the the night that uh, he he comes on uh it's not going to be for a while because i want to give people plenty of time to put their questions forward uh Announcements will come out nearer the time to let you know an exact exact date. Um, apart from that, thanks for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.